And welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 4 modded gameplay. We are still here on the boat. And we are just going to go to hell with it. Let's activate the boat controls, travel to Far Harbor. Here we go. Oh man, we can't ring the bell. That sucks. Is there ain't gonna be any monsters out here. Uh oh. Fading out. And zoning. What a way to start a new episode. Zoning. Fast, effective healing. I didn't even go back to uh, Sanctuary and dump my junk. There'll be merchants. It's all good. Will the merchants deal with us right off the bat? I'm not sure. I can't remember. Alright. Get ready for monsters. Huh. They look like monsters. Should we jump out the boat? I've never done that before. Looks like a town to me. Look like a town to you? What? Oh, I missed that on the other side. Cool. Nice experience. Are you lost? This is Far Harbor. We, we don't get many visitors around here. We don't need no freeloaders or more help, Mainlander. So you can get back in your boat and leave. Alan, this isn't your dock. It belongs to the whole town. And that means strangers are welcome. Uh, sorry, you've caught us during a, a difficult time. Uh, but Alan's got a point. Not all visitors have good intentions. So, uh, what's your business here? A young woman from the Commonwealth named Kasumi may have passed through here. Her family hired me to find her. Some sort of detective, huh? Well, she came through here all right. At least we know she made it this far. Damn it. Mariners incoming. Something's coming through the fog! You, help us defend the town and I'll answer any questions you have. Take a post at the top of the wall near the main gate. The hull never lets us down. Now follow me! Man the hall! Something's out there! You sure you saw something? This ain't a drill! What the hell? Eyes peeled, everyone! The gate! Open the gate! I've got wounded out here! There's no time. Look to the fog. They're coming. Gulpers! Oh, God! Defense! Oh. Is the other one at? Don't hit your own people. No, 
Eyes on the fog. Something's coming. Anglers! Rally! Defend the hall! We're clear. All right. Well done, all. Open the gate! The hull took a battery. Be sure. Inert. Oh, someone should make use of it. A typewriter. He was hungry. All right, let's talk to her now. Avery. And now you see what we're up against. The fog and the creatures it spits out have taken the whole island from my people. But for your help when we needed it, you deserve this. Thank you. If you manage to survive despite all that, you must be tough. <laughs> Ornery, more like. I just... I'm done cowering behind your damn hull, Avery. Time you let me deal with the real problem. With the right people and my guns, I can end those children of Adam cultists for good. The fog's been here forever. The children didn't make it. Before the rat eaters came, the fog was under control. They come, and it all goes wrong. It's time we do something. No need to burden a stranger with all this nonsense. What's the deal with the children of Adam? They're religious folk. Worship the power of Adam, which is uh, radiation, I guess. If you want details, you'd have to find and ask them. We used to have a peace with them until a certain hothead menace named Alan Lee. Now that's enough. That preacher came into the harbor saying that it was Adam's will that we lost our land. That it was Adam's goddamn will that we lost so many friends and family. And that the Adam would wipe this whole place clean of us. If it were up to me, you'd hang for what you did to that preacher, Alan. What did he do to the preacher? Alan pulled a gun on him. He claims the preacher reached for his. We don't have police, or really any law. Just custom and popular sentiment. And after everything the preacher said, it was abundantly clear doing anything to Alan would have made matters worse. Have the children made the fog worse? Absolutely not. There's not one bit of evidence. Geiger counters don't lie, Avery. Fog's gotten more lethal year over year. And now the fog's covering the whole island. But only after the children came. You know as well as I do, that's happened before. Sure, people have theories the children are involved, but no one, and I mean no one, has proof. Can we get back to business? Sorry for all that. You're here for Kasumi, right? Mm -hmm. She headed inland to the Synth Refuge, Acadia. Getting there will be dangerous. You'll need a guide. Old Longfellow. No one knows the fog like him. But, uh, word of warning, he's a bit of an acquired taste. What's Old Longfellow's story? He's the best hunter on the island. Fearless. <laughs> Some say crazy. If someone needs to get to Acadia, he's the only one that'll do it. But, uh, people around here are known for being stubborn. Willful and other, less flattering things. But Longfellow's got a reputation even among us. What can you tell me about Acadia? Ask Longfellow. He's the only one that's been there. Thanks for the info. <sighs> Best place to look for Longfellow's at the bar. The last plank. And, uh, please, lend a hand around town if you're able. Even if it's slapped away. People like the Mariner and Cassie and others need help. And let me say something you might not hear again. Thank you. Boy, she ran away quick, didn't she? All right, let's pick up some questuses. What's this? Do, 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 do. Help the citizens. Okay. Mariner. 
The hull took a battering. To be sure. But she wouldn't be standing at all if it weren't for you. They call me the Mariner. Shipwright. Handyman. I'm the only one keeping the harbor afloat. Well, besides Captain Avery. A pleasure to meet you. Likewise. I hope the island doesn't kill you quick. Or slow, for that matter. I don't suppose you'd be willing to lend a hand. In order to do proper repairs, I need tools. Specialized tools. And they won't be easy to come by. 450 caps if you can, though. So I'd be risking my life for only 450 caps. <sighs> I'm a bit short on caps. But I have old Jimmy's shotgun I can give you. Heavens no, he can't use it anymore. Sign me up. I'll help. Eagle's Cove Tannery. Tools are certain to be there. Now get. Now get. I'm wondering if I should grab Mr. Longfellow. You building a collection or something? Shush. And then do all this. I wonder if this would turn on help me gain faction with him. Andrew Lee? I'm thinking it might. Seventeen, I will take it. That will sell. Yeah, three oh eight. needs mending. You know, it just don't build itself. I need proper wood, wood steel, nails. Nobody asked you to cobble together that stupid wall. You want yourself commodities? You know how to get them. Caps. That stupid wall is the only thing that kept you stowaways alive. That and the mainlander. The mainlander? Huh. <laughs> what kept us safe was harbormen and the firepower I sold them. Want supplies? Tell you what. Apply that big old brain of yours to dealing with the real threat. Those children of Adam Wax. This a bar? Haven't no. you fouled up things enough, Alan? And now you need Ah, here it is. Here's the bar. I'm gonna go ahead and grab Longfellow. Yeah, I know that's gonna cause Nick to go away, but we each got to do our own thing, you know. Hey there, we'll Everyone. dig in and hold this position. Everyone, we're trying to have a conversation here. Shut your mouths! Open your damned ears! We're the so only the fogs are coming town. for us all. There we go. Oh, cool. Unlock a point of interest map uh, markers across the island. Thank you. Captain Avery said you can get me to Acadia. Heard there was a scuffle out there. You get your hands dirty? <laughs> I'm done leading people to their deaths in the fall. Last fella couldn't keep up. Didn't last five minutes. I'm not some no-name mainlander. I'm tough enough for your little island. Sling a bit of lead on the hull, and now you think you're ready to walk in the fog, do you? Things you'll see inland make that look like a Sunday stroll. I help the harbor out. I figure all of you owe me something, at least. Hmm. Well, I suppose there's a bit of truth there. I could get you to Acadia. But you've got to listen to me. Go where I say, when I say it. Still won't be easy. You stock up on your necessities, Rad X and the like, when the real work can begin. Should I make any other preparations? Ammo, stim packs, maybe a rocket or three. Worse than my lurks out there. I need to take care of a few things. Handle your necessities, then off with you. Okay. Oh, I think Dick likes you. Uh, <clears throat> Kitty. Mainlander, today's your lucky day. Free beer for ya. Ha ha! You have anything a bit stronger? Pushing your luck, are ya? Ha! I like it. Take this. Top shelf all around. So, drink up. You stay here over long and the fog will claim ya. Might as well meet her with a belly full of fire, eh? 
I'd like to rent a room. It's up the stairs. All right, let's go take a nap. Nope, not this one. Aha! We're here? Yep. Life's too bloody short to be sober. <laughs> I like that. Life's too bloody short to be sober. <sighs> hey there. What's your order, sweetie? What do you have to drink? All sorts of old world booze. We carry Vim, too. And before you ask, Vim is an Islander favorite. But it may pack more punch than the stuff you're used to. Let's see what you have. We got what you need. She got 444. That's not that much. Let's take a look at what this Vin is. She did say Vin, didn't she? There it is, Vim. Hit points and oh, that's not bad at all. Hit points and action points. Okay. All right, let's. What's that? I thought. Was, uh, let's go ahead. Am I gonna regret this? Excuse me. You ready to head to Acadia? Yes, let's go. Let's go, Longfellow. Follow me. Oh man. Okay, this was a mistake. I thought I would immediately get him as a companion. Obviously, I don't. Let's head out of town. Acadia is above the fog lines of the mountain. Someone's creeping by. You're that mainlander who just got here. Uh huh. You better watch yourself, because this island sees and hears everything you do. I should know. I watched the island tear down the greatest family that ever set foot in Far Harbor. It's a tale of greed, blood, and vengeance. Sounds interesting. I'd like to hear it. I thought you might say that. My family, the Daltons, was the pride of Far Harbor for generations. Even back before the war. It was lumber and fishing that made the Daltons rich. But they got greedy, took too much from the island. The island's been getting revenge ever since, killing us off one by one. I'm the last Dalton still standing. Ah, but now our story takes an unexpected turn. A mysterious stranger comes to Far Harbor. Someone strong, someone capable. With the stranger's help, the last living Dalton finally has a chance to avenge her bloodline once and for all. Mm. Let me guess. I'm the mysterious stranger who's going to help you avenge your family. Ah, you're a quick one. <coughs> Good. You'll need your wits about you, because your part in the story is filled with danger. Now, on to the first chapter in our tale of vengeance. That would be the sad story of freckle-faced Petey. Petey was my cousin. He was a good lad, never caused trouble. He thought all those freckles brought him luck, but, <laughs> well, not so much. He was out foraging at the National Park campground when the island sick some feral ghouls on him. I was a sneaky bastard when it wants to be. Anyway, he made it back to town, but died from his injuries that night. Of course, those ferals are still out there, waiting to kill the next poor fool who comes along. Damn shame. Those ghouls are as good as dead. Good, good. It's long past time those shamblers paid for what they did to Petey. Um, okay. Off we go. 
you ain't armed, you ain't long for this world. Find Every day, another harbor man leaves the island. Alan. Huh. The mainlander. Great. Fire your gun a few times and you think you're some sort of hero? This is our fight. Our island. Not yours. Hey, buddy. I was just trying to help. Charity makes you weak. Makes you need it more and more. Until you're starving from the lack of it. What happens next time when you ain't here, huh? For the next. Either us harbormen survive on our own terms, or we take the long walk together. So if you're here to buy some ordnance, do your business. Otherwise, take the first boat out of here. Before the children of Adam or worse get you. Show me what you got. You got it. He's got bad attitude. I really don't like him. We will sell that. I'm tempted to sell that, to be honest. But it's so light, I'm not going to bother. We got any armor? No. Okay. Wow, he's got a lot of ammo. Oof, that's a lot. Let's just take it all. Harpoons. Stem pack, tattoos. Lots of suits. Lots of leaded stuff, which makes sense with all the radiation. Meat hook. Lever action. 45, 70 rounds. I believe harpoon gun fires the har harpoons. I believe we have... Something that takes 4570, that's the reason why I bought all of that. The Admiral's Friend does double damage. Food. Stim packs. Fully stuffed. Alright, let's go ahead and do a Rad X. Where am I? Eight. Red X. I know. I can do it from the. We need to move through the old mountain trail where we're. The fog ain't like nothing you've seen in the Commonwealth. Mainlanders think a dose of Radaway is all you need. <laughs> Track. When the bullets start flying, find cover. Keep your head down if you want to. What the hell? You got anything else to say? Don't stray too far. Okay. Okay, how do I get up there? You're not half 
not bad in a scrap. Figured I'd have to take care of a lot of them. Might just make a proper far harborman out of you. <laughs> See, the fog can do a number on you. Get you all turned around. Does something to your brain. Trappers were mean to begin with. You're dead! Let's see what's left. Here's the mountain trail. We stick to this and we'll make it to Acadia. Game trails crisscross the road, so don't be surprised if we got local wildlife to deal with. Me like them. There we go. Got two levels now. You like them puppies? <laughs> we grow everything extra meat on the island. <sighs> Still got a ways to go. Stick to the deep fog. Best we steer clear, but you never know. All right, let's level up. We can max out. Uh, where's it at? Here? No, not there. Here we go. Ghoulish. Rad damage will begin to slowly heal. It helps. Young lad, no higher than your knee. Whole island was covered in fog. The fog eventually rolled back. People resettled. But they got comfortable. Started taking things for granted. Folk got short memories. All this has happened before. Wow. Quite a bit of rads in that fog. Someone's coming. We ain't alone. I want to wait for that one to get close because he's legendary. Nice. Now where's homie at? Look at that. Industrial solvent and a screwdriver. Gulper's got a fondness for fresh water. A small gulper, like the ones in these parts, is a fair challenge. Now the big ones, they can grow two, three times the size of a man. Good thing you don't see too many of them around. Gotcha. I do like the way I'm healing up though. It's almost keeping up. Of 
course it... Huh? Stringing one more soul to the damnation, old man? Well, what have we here? Another rad worshiping lunatic, that's what. Your barbs do not harm me. I am shielded by my faith. How about bullets? Faith shield you against those too? Let's just settle down, okay? You're right. Waste of ammo. Do not sully this one with your blasphemy, old man. You. I suggest you go no further. Acadia is a nest of snakes. Beasts that subvert the will of Adam. What did Acadia do? What's Acadia done to make you distrust them? They supply Far Harbor with the means to turn back Adam's holy fog. You'd do well to avoid such creatures, and instead seek the only true master of this land. I, I don't. Uh, okay. All right, I'm listening. Tell me about Adam. Tell you. Look around. You stride through his kingdom. A land blanketed beneath sacred fog. A land Adam has claimed for his children. And you may join our family if he deems you worthy. Right. Worthy? What do I have to do to join? There is a ritual his children must perform. If you succeed... You will be rewarded with entrance into our family. Uh. <laughs> oh, man. What should I do? Nothing better to do? Sign Let's try nothing better to do. Suppose I got nothing better to do. Huh. Adam usually prefers those with a bit more fervor. But nonetheless, if you wish to test his favor, seek the nucleus. If you're done wasting time with a fanatic, let's move. Okay. Let's move. Up ahead. Off a lot of ramp. No Get far. out of here. The gate is not too far now. Hasn't been that bad of a trip. Hey, there we go, Acadia, baby. Hi. And we've arrived. Acadia's already been watching us for a good spell. If you want to talk with them, just go inside. They'll be waiting for you. You need my help again. You come see me. Got a cabin just outside of Far Harbor. Good place to tool up your gear, get some rest, or get stinking drunk. <laughs> Just make sure if you bring in a bottle of something strong, there's enough to share. Uh. Maybe later, Longfellow. All right. But I'm serious about the offer. You ever want to hunt the forests and waters of the island together? I could think of worse things to do. Uh. The girls are so pretty. He sings. Alright. The reason why... Well, you'll see. You'll see the reason why I kept Nick. Nick has... Pertinent issues. Not issues. He has a part to play in this. Optional help Captain Avery. Wait, what the hell did I just grab? Blood Tide. Gain the power tools. Talk to the leader of Acadia. Ah. Help the citizens of Far Harbor. Okay. Alright. Let's go talk to. What's his name? leader of Acadia. When I first climbed this mountain above the fog, I thought to myself, now here is a metaphor worth taking in. Calm down. You've entered a place of clarity, understanding. 
peace. While you're here in Acadia, Synthkind welcomes you as long as you welcome us. I came here looking for Kasumi Nakano. Really? I'm impressed. Few would brave the kind of journey you've had for the sake of someone else. Kasumi is here. She's safe and unharmed, and you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, tell me, do you think Kasumi is a synth? We're not answering any more questions until you play straight with us. Just who the hell are you, really? There's only one synth with that kind of face and a mind of his own. And I only see him when I look in a mirror. Nick? It... It can't be you. Don't give me that. What are you trying to pull? I've never seen you before in my life. Please, if you're willing to give me a chance, I can explain. Alright, let's get the story. All right, Dima. We'll humor you. Keep talking. This all started over a century ago, when we were first created. We were prototypes, Nick. The first synths capable of independent thinking and judgment. Keep talking. One of the Institute's experiments had to do with how our brains could process personality. If we could handle individualized feelings and behaviors, I was allowed to develop mine based on experience. But with you, they wanted to try transferring an entire personality into you. It took several attempts before the personality imprint worked. I saw you wake up not knowing who or what you were so many times. I couldn't let them do it to you anymore. We were the only two prototypes they made. I literally saw myself in you. You were my brother, Nick. I helped you escape the Institute. We left together. If I were your brother, I'd remember. That's where you'd be wrong. This happened over a century ago. There's... There's only so much memory that can fit into the prototype brains we have. Ah, I've heard enough. I think you and I need to talk about this. Maybe not now, though. Mm -hmm. Nick, is he really your brother? If he is, it's news to me. Can sense even be related? Because we're from the same assembly line, does that make us family? I gotta think about this. Is it really possible that you wouldn't remember any of this? You mean between the Institute fail-safes, the beatings I've taken over the years, and plain old age? Or are you buying this hole? There's only so much room of their argument. I don't know. It's not like we've got the instruction manual. We'll talk later. This is a lot to take in. Nick, I don't need you to believe me. I'm just glad to see you again. Whenever you're ready, I'll be here. Now, about young Kasumi. It's important that you understand exactly why she's here. I asked you before if you think she's really a sin. If you could indulge me with an answer. She's human, and she has a family waiting for her. But imagine what it means if you are wrong. If Kasumi is a synth, then she doesn't have a family. She never had one. Think about how she must feel. None of us take this transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie. That someone stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. I want you to understand that before you see her. She has a chance here to live as a synth, not hiding, not pretending to be something else. One more question, if you'll indulge me. You're here for Kasumi, but 
I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Tell me, are you a synth? Mm. No, but if I squint real hard in the mirror, sometimes I look like someone else. <laughs> I'm afraid when I try that trick, nothing really changes. I know it might seem impossible that you could be a synth, but tell me, what's the first thing you can remember? I remember being in my house the day the bombs fell. We ran to the vault. We were frozen. I was the only survivor. No memories before then? Just a single day, and then waking up alone? We so easily accept what's presented to us as the truth, don't we? Isn't it funny how He's a, a con memory man. can feel like a whole different reality? People, places, even sounds and colors can change. Or someone else has changed them. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. Trauma, disease, the background radiation. They all take their toll on the mind. But I can promise you that we will accept you. No matter what you decide you are. <laughs> I'm not a synth. End of discussion. I understand. I won't pry any further. Acadia is open to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase. Kasumi is usually working down below, whenever you wish to see her. Is there anything else you'd like to discuss before you go? Uh... <laughs> I'm in the Institute. Uh, let's do I'm in the Railroad. I'm part of a group that helps since the Railroad. Really? I don't understand why a group dedicated to helping synths would convince them through fear that their only option is to hide. Yes, they volunteer for the memory wipe. Yes, not knowing you're a synth makes it harder for the Institute to find you. But the cost... I know how frightening it is, the risk of capture, but sacrificing what you are, avoiding the true struggle to be accepted as our own form of life? Mm. Ideals aren't going to protect escaped synths. We do what we have to. I know that's what you think. I just... No. No, I shouldn't judge. I'm over here, far from the Commonwealth, in relative safety. Is there anything else you'd like to discuss? Mm -hmm. No, sir. I'm in the Brotherhood of Steel, and we have plenty to say about synths. How dangerous they are. We're not dangerous. Those who've used us tried to replace humans with my kind. They're dangerous. All we want is to live in peace. On our own. See for yourself. Walk through Acadia. Talk to my people. We aren't a threat to anyone. This sounds like another cult. I guess we'll see. It's all I can ask. Give Acadia a chance. Perhaps one day, all of humanity will come to accept us. Even the Brotherhood. Now, was there anything else? Uh, I'm not even going to do the Institute one. No. Sorry, guys. Get going. Of course. Perhaps we're in there a long time. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. You worry too much. Sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough. You know we blew three more relays this week. I'm coming in. You stay right there. No accounting for taste.
this area? Where'd he go? There he is. Dima. Alright, here comes drama. It's gotta be some drama. Faraday. That's one of those founders. I was having a hard enough time keeping up with repairs before all this nonsense with the atom lunatics. They're nothing you need to be concerned about. It's not them. I'm concerned about you, Dima. You can't solve all the world's problems. Certainly not all at once. Dearest Faraday, relax. All will be fine. So, you've talked to Dima. You know why we're here. I certainly hope that you'll consider helping us. Dima's vision is worth fighting for. So, you're a sin. I am. I hope that's not a problem for you. Dima has worked hard to create a place for us where we can be safe from those who don't accept us. He's put so much of himself into this. All his time and energy devoted to helping others. He never stops to think of himself. Sometimes I worry about... Well, if I wasn't here to make sure his equipment is all functional. And that's not even mentioning maintaining the fog condensers. So many things to keep track of. Seems like he's lucky to have you helping. Thank you. That's very kind. If there's anything I can do to help out, just let me know. Well, if you're determined to help, there is something you could do. It's likely somewhat dangerous, though, so I understand if you'd rather not. There's a boat along the coast of the island. It was transporting some hardware we needed. Storage drives. The boat never finished the trip, you see. So the drives are still out there. I could really use them here, for extra parts, if nothing else. My understanding is that the boat wrecked southwest of here. So, does this sound like something you could handle? What happened to the boat? Why didn't it make it? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Trappers, fog crawlers, there's no end to what's out there. And what might still be out there. The point is that we already lost someone once. And I don't want to see that happen again. So... Are you up for it? They're a weird cult. Sure thing, Faraday. I'll get the drives for you. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Alright. Let's go talk to Kasumi now. So you're that new fellow from the Commonwealth. It's so wonderful to meet someone from back home. I'm afraid Kasumi doesn't seem to want to discuss it, but how are things there? Uh, getting better every day, I think. Oh, that's so good to hear. I would like to see it again someday, once things settle down here. Acadia is all well and good, I suppose, but honestly? It does get a bit boring. You're safe here. That's what really matters. Mm, I suppose. One could do with a little excitement now and then, though. Don't you think? I'm sure I'll see you around. Do take care. Okay, uh. it may not look like much from the outside. But it's all some of us have got. It's certainly what. Uh, okay, so how do I... I mean, I could jump down there. No, nope, that's up. Damn it, where's down? Over here? Yay! Ugh, circuitry is completely fried. Kasumi Nakano? Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. What's that you're working on? Just trying to cobble some pre-war junk into something usable. Now, do you mind telling me what you're doing here? Your parents sent me. They want you to come home. They... they did what? You came all this way... for me. You left without telling your folks why. You must have known they'd be worried. Look, my mom and dad... Uh, I mean, those people that were taking care of me... they wouldn't want me back. Not if they knew the truth. Kasumi, listen to me. You're not a synth. Believe me, 
I've thought about that. How you can never really know. But it just answers so many questions. I thought if I just left, it would be easier for them. How would that conversation have gone anyway? I've been lying to you this whole time. Your real daughter is dead and I replaced her? <sighs> you haven't replaced anyone. Kenji and Ray are still your parents. I... I really wish that was true. If I wasn't a synth, things would be so much simpler. <sighs> Acadia isn't what I thought it was. There's more going on here than just the refuge. But I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. Okay. I've been running long enough. Okay, we'll offer help. If something's going on, then I can help. Just tell me what's happening. I don't know how you could. Wait. Wait, of course you can help. You find things, track down answers. That's what you do, right? That's why you came after me. What if I told you that there's a secret? A big secret here on this island. Something way more important than just one lost girl. I'm listening. All right, I'm listening. Okay, where to begin? You saw all those computers that Dima's hooked up to, right? Mm -hmm. They hold his memories or offload data from his brain. Or maybe some combination of both? Well, Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them. And, you know, I got curious. There's like a century's worth of life experiences in there. And that's when I see it. Data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. Plus, death counts. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? A plan to wipe out the rest of the island. We should get to the bottom of this. If Dima is putting on an act, we need to know. I'll help if I can, but that's not much to go on. I know. I've been working on that, but I haven't had much luck. I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then they come out later looking like they've been arguing. There's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a perfect spot to hide and eavesdrop, but it's been locked up. I've also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal, since he and Dima are so close, but... The security on it is crazy. Uh. Eavesdropping on the next meeting sounds like our best bet. I'll see if I can find a way inside that room. Okay. Good luck. And come back as soon as you found anything. From one case to a new one. It's never easy for us, is it? Nope, never is. Let's go. That's... What the hell is uh, this one? Is this a storage room? Yep. Almost. Bingo. Got it. Watching a conductor at the orchestra. can't duck so let's just watch we need to accomplish this without bloodshed far harbor and the children of adam have a right to exist on this island the same as us they're going to kill each other dima there's no stopping it we need to pick a side now haven't we already picked a side Building the fog condensers around Far Harbor wasn't exactly a neutral act. We couldn't stand by and let the people of this island die to the fog. Just like you couldn't just leave the Cult of Adam without a home? Giving them the submarine base was a mistake. The nucleus, as they're calling it, is basically one big fortified position. Far Harbor had cast them out. They have strange beliefs, but they have always accepted us for what we are. And Confessor Martin was a friend. Well, the new Confessor isn't. 
High Confessor Tectus is an unstable megalomaniac, and he's gonna keep threatening us as long as we're helping Far Harbor. Guys, can we talk about the elephant in the room? We keep dancing around it. My old memory banks in the submarine base. I can't believe you never told me about those. I have to wait until they become a security risk. I know how it looks in hindsight, but at the time, it was an act of trust. I was honestly more worried they'd accidentally trip the pre-war security and get hurt, giving the children my old home, allowing them to safeguard my old memories. I thought our people would be working together. <sighs> Just how secure are the banks? How long do we have? And what's in them? I've gone over this before, Chase. I don't know what's in them. That's how it works. It's as close to forgetting something as I have, but I've run some projections of worst-case scenarios. If we do nothing and the wrong knowledge falls in the wrong hands... So send me over there. I'll be in and out in a day. We can't risk it. They know you're from Acadia. If you're caught, or even seen, then it's war. We should at least prepare her to go in. We're running out of options. I say we tell her how to crack into the memory banks. You've been working on this without me? It came up in a private moment, Chase. But yes, we've been writing a program that will let you access and download my memories. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. I'm finishing up some tweaks to the program right now. I'll leave a copy of it for you on my desk when I'm done. Get the program, use it to break into the memory banks. Got it. Hopefully you won't have to. We'll keep monitoring the situation. I only want you going in if we have no other choice. Oh, well, that's interesting. Emma's got his fingers everywhere on this island. And whatever's in his memories isn't something we can wait for someone else to find. Too many folks these days count on violence to solve their problems. Oh, shut and up. We have to look around to see where that got us. Violence solves problems. So I can't talk to, uh... Katie is far away enough from the Institute that we don't have to worry, right? Right. Where's our girl at? Kasumi. Dima has secrets. We have to find out what he's really up to. Uh... Bingo. It's probably more quests down there, but for now, the hell with it. Hey, here we go. Let's just talk to Dima to help. What's this? Huh? Let's just Terminal? Okay. Let's just talk to Dima. Let's just talk to her first. We haven't met her. Excuse me. You track Kasumi here. I'm impressed. Perhaps not as quietly or efficiently as possible. But thankfully, she was never in any real danger. I'm afraid your journey was unnecessary. So, you're saying you could have done a better job of it? Didn't know it was a competition? Yes, absolutely. Acadia is a safe haven for synths. Were it not, I would not have aided anyone in reaching it. Every synth I've tracked down, every synth convinced to come here, has been assured that he or she will come to no harm. My job is to make sure they all remain safe, no matter what. Understand? How do you manage to track down synths and bring them here? I have a network of contacts throughout the area. 
Some from my time with the Institute, some after. I know the Institute's tactics, and use that to my advantage. You have Dima's blessing, so by all means, make yourself comfortable. So, what's your story? I used to be a courser, returning synths that had escaped from the Institute. I was tracking a synth and instead found Dima. He convinced me of the truth and the error of my ways. I rejected the Institute, made sure they couldn't track me, and dedicated my life to instead helping synths find freedom. Mm. I'd like to help you all. Is there anything I can do? Actually, as a matter of fact, there is. If you're serious about contributing, well, we've got a situation I need someone to look into. You've had some experience traveling around the island, so you may be decently equipped to handle it. Not really, but I'm listening. All right, I'm listening. We were expecting a new synth to arrive, and he should have been here by now. There's been no sign of him, and I'm concerned that he might have become lost on the way here. I'll find out what I can. You should start by talking to Brooks in Far Harbor. He's one of us, a synth. He's the one who meets the new arrivals and gets them started on the journey here. Of course, he's not likely to tell you anything without proof that you're working for me. If he doesn't cooperate, tell him that his designation is L-792. That should convince him. That's as much help as I can give you for now. Please, hurry. If that synth is out there alone, he won't last long. Alright, let's talk to Dima. Hey, Dima. Is there anything I can do? Whoa! I know you left some of your memories behind in an old submarine base. That you're worried the children of Adam will get to them. You've been busy. I was hoping you were taking your time learning more about us. Huh. I suppose you have. Maybe this is an opportunity for both of us. I can't send any of my people without risking the children of Adam linking them back to Acadia. But you, you're new to the island. All right. I'm listening. Before I begin, how much do you know? Did you have any questions for me? About Far Harbor, the children of Adam, or my memories? You're keeping Far Harbor safe, is that it? Not exactly. They're fiercely independent. But the fog was starting to choke more and more of the island. So I proposed a trade. We would give them the technology to keep the fog at bay, in return for them being a lifeline to the outside world, a safe dock, and a place to buy supplies. Unfortunately, the children of Adam view the radioactive fog as a holy portent, and their bloodied history with Far Harbor puts us at odds. The children of Adam on this island, you were helping them? Yes. I know their faith in radiation as a type of god is a bit... different. Uh -huh. But who am I to judge? I was using a submarine base as a home when Martin and his followers stumbled inside. They had been cast out of Far Harbor for their beliefs. When I left to found Acadia, I knew the base would be in safe hands. They needed a home, a place to belong just like I did. But now Martin is gone, and his successor, Tectus, wants to finally end the feud with Far Harbor by letting the fog swallow them. You left your memories behind? How does that work? As a prototype synth, my raw data capacity is limited. I began using computer banks to expand, to give me room to ponder, see new things. I had to leave some of my earliest memories behind when I left the sub-base to the children of Adam. I thought they were safe. I know all I need to. Then my plan is simple. Pose as a recruit and infiltrate the children of Adam. Gain access to their base. In the old command center, guarded by some pre-war security measures, you'll find my memory banks. I'll give you the program you need in order to access my memories. Bring me anything you find. 
It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. I'll get your memories, Dima. If we're lucky, the pre-war defenses have kept the Children of Atom at bay. But that means you'll have to get past them yourself. One more thing before you leave. Mm -hmm. Whatever you do, don't assault the Children of Atom directly. Our ultimate goal must be to bring peace. If you attack them, they'll consider themselves at war with the outside world. If we find anything suspicious in those memories of yours, we'll be back. Count on it. All right, back down to Kasumi. You saw it. Do, 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 do. Hell of it. Eh. Turns out Dima's earliest memories are in the hands of the children of Adam. He's afraid of what they're going to find. So, is that what those death projections were about? It wasn't Dima planning to destroy the island. He's worried the children of Adam will. Or is he still hiding something? What could be in those memories that he would leave them behind? Is there really something in them that's dangerous? Do you have a way in? Into his memories? Assuming you can get past the children of Adam, of course. I got this program that Faraday and Dima wrote. It's supposed to help me access the memory banks. Really? How would that work? When I was taking a peek in the computers he has here, Dima was hooked up to his chair. I was just tapping into it. I wonder if you'll need to, you know, connect to the old banks the way he does? Some kind of connection between your head and the computer. Oh, but that's it. And then Faraday's program would be translating Dima's thoughts and data, helping you through any security guarding it. I'm sorry, I'm making assumptions. It's just, well, it's a little exciting, isn't it? You'll let me know what you find? I'll keep an eye on things here. So, say I get the memories. What then? If it's something that would really threaten the island, then it's better out of the hands of the Children of Adam. Or Far Harbor, even. And if Dima really can't be trusted, we'll have his own memories to confront him with. I'll get Dima's memories, and then we'll figure things out from there. Good luck. Interesting. Wow. She gave me 500 caps. That's nice. Thank you, girlfriend. Yeah, lend you a hand to that terminal? You can't you hack it. Ask. Well, ain't that a blast from the past? If you say so, homie. What's that? Condensed fog? The hell do you do with condensed fog? Maybe I can build these things? A jug? Oopsie. Oh, that hurt. Okay, I like this.
More mini nukes. More ammunition. Drugs. Okay, we good. Uh, oil. I have no idea what the condensed fog is. Let's take a look. It's steel and oil. Okay. Now we gotta find our damn way out of here. Aha! Uh, that wasn't really a way out. Okay. Acadia may not look like much from the outside, but it's all some of us have got. It... Who do you think actually won the war? China! Bingo. Ooh, ten percent less damage from radiation attacks. Hmm. Wrong one. Other side. Wait a minute, keeps on going up? Oh, okay. Cadia storage key. Bet you that was what I broke into. Well, that was useless. Yeah, those nitrogen canisters aren't worth much. Concrete and lantern. We are on the island, ladies and gentlemen. And we have access to a whole bunch of quests now. Excuse me, it's late. Oh, damn. Let's go ahead and start from the bot. Well, let's wait a minute. I think I'll turn around and decide which one to go after by whichever one's closest. Then try to go all the way to the other side of the damn island. Where is... Alright, there's Far Harbor. Power Armor? Oh. 
we are here. I guess the first one is going to be the part. Wait a minute now. Oh yeah, we got to clear that out. And I think... The ghouls are also there. Oops, wrong one. Let's take a peek. Back it up. Yep. All right, let's go, gentlemen. That's you, Nick. I know I'm going about this the long way and the hard way. Car drove into the water. Maybe it wasn't water before. Oh, that's a graphical error. Don't know. That's a fish. came here and we were that close to the fairgrounds cool beans Very, very quiet. I'm hunting asshole. I'm willing to bet you.
Oh, I thought it was going to be something hairier. That heel is nice. I like it. <clears throat> How did I? So, just what I need to wash my dirty ass. Maybe a little something, something in here. Just want to make sure he's dead. Never can trust these zombies. See that? Like, I'm seeing things in the fog. Hmm. I'm saying we go to Longfellow's cabin. Easiest way to get there would be to just fast travel to Far Harbor. And we'll go grab him. We'll grab Nick before we ever see Dima again. As you can tell, there's a whole storyline in between these two. I could even store Nick over here. But we gotta quit Longfellow. Anyways. you're hounding for a green suntan I suggest we get a move on green suntan I like that Nick you're such a smart ass okay we should be able to turn right somewhere up here this maybe Looks like it. What the hell are these things? Nice graphics. The way the tide comes in and smashes against the rocks, I like it.
may or may not be able to consider this a home. We'll find out once we get up here. out sleeping in the fog we heading out got everything you need well I've got my gun my drink and my wits that's all I've ever needed time to get moving then sure let's go that's right let's get going after you then now what is this place called Longfellow's cabin. I could store him here, but we won't. We'll send him to Red Rocket. Okay, homie. Let's take a look at this. Nice. Lots of pork and beans. That sounds like a real uh, outdoors man, outdoorsman. I don't know what's more sore, my back or my feet. Damn, dog, you complain a lot. You're supposed to be ornery and hardcore and stuff. Here you are, nag, 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 nag. There goes Nick, looking weird, walking his way through the water. Look at that. No, this does not say bondage scissors. I'm not that asleep. They said oh, bandage. What the hell is this? Pearl? Ah, you there. Are you that detective I've heard about? You could say that. I guess you could say that. Oh, wonderful. I wasn't sure how I was ever going to find you. I haven't been able to find any of the local police force. The louts? I don't want to start a panic, but, well, we may have a murder on our hands, and we need an outside set of eyes. Where did the crime take place? At the Cliff's Edge Hotel, just north of the town. Will you help us solve this heinous crime? Who's the victim? Well... We want to keep this out of the tabloids, but it's Ezra Parker, the financier of the hotel. Will you help us? There may still be a murderer at large. Who are your employers? I shouldn't say out here in the open, but my employers are quite wealthy, as are the other patrons of the hotel. Please, you must help us. Every moment we wait, our residents are at risk. Is this conversation on the clock? Oh, yes. Well, I suppose I do have a bit of petty cash on me that I could provide for your time. Please, you must help us. Every moment we wait, our residents are at risk. Okay, stop no, I want more money. You're this annoying. This type of investigation usually requires a retainer. Oh, you're a private investigator, not an employee of the state. Well, yes, then I suppose a retainer can be arranged. Please, you must help us. Every moment we wait, our residents are at risk. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'll help. Oh, thank goodness. 
Shall I guide you to the Cliff's Edge Hotel now? No, I'll meet you there. Go ahead. I'll meet you there. Very good. I shall meet you at the main entrance to the hotel. Damn, she's annoying. Okay, where were we? Let's talk to her, finish this up, and call it a night before I fall asleep on you guys. And damn the island for sending them after Petey. I wiped out the feral ghouls at the campground. The hero of our saga returns triumphant. Da, da, da. I bet the island didn't see that coming. It's only right you get paid for your troubles. Here's 200 caps for you. I think I deserve more than that. I suppose I could part with a little more. Here's another hundred caps. I've been thinking about what's next, and then it came to me. We all love our grandparents, don't we? Mm -hmm. Kind, gentle, doting, love to spoil you. You'd never want something awful to happen to them. Nobody would. That's why it broke my heart when I lost Grandpa George. What happened? What happened to him? He had a farm a little ways north of here. Lived a peaceful life, working the land and not causing anyone trouble. The island sent something after him. A huge monster, mean as spit, and with claws to snap steel beams. A fog crawler. Grandpa bravely stood his ground. A shotgun in his hands, holding off that terror while the farmhands fled back here. If you can take out that shell-backed devil, it'll send a message loud and clear that says the Daltons never forget when they've been wronged. Frog, fog crawler will that pay. That fog crawler's gonna pay for Grandpa George. That's the spirit. Grandpa George. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm gonna call this a night. When we come back tomorrow, I'm gonna take. I guess that's Longfellow. Yeah, I'm gonna take old Longfellow back. In the eyes. Okay. Yeah. Get put some equipment on him, and we'll go from there. An honest of sea bass. Until I see y'all again next time tomorrow. Actually, that just the next time. Bye bye.